Hello, sweet souls. Happy Friday, August 12th. This will be your full length reading on TikTok and YouTube. Um, if I exceed the 10 minutes, follow me on um, YouTube and watch the full length version. So the first thing we're going to do is pull from the wisdom of the oracle. First, I want to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. And we are going to call on the Holy Spirit, angels, and saints to ask for a message for our greater good. So, let's see. This is the wisdom of the oracle. What do we need to know? Somebody's leaving a situation that was round and round, a never-ending battle. This is a constant repeating patterns, but you're leaving that in the past. So that's good. Let's see what comes out in regards to this leaving situations in the past. Now, this doesn't have to be you physically leaving. This is you finally making the final energetic cut to release whatever this is. What do we need to know? Yeah, it was very painful. So whether this is anger, resentment, bitterness, whether this is sadness, whatever attachment that uh, was connected to this round and round energy, which is like someone that just can, continues to repeat endless cycle of toxicity, you know, you're finally leaving that in the past, closing that cycle. Yeah, because you see there's no, there's no emotional fulfillment left in that situation. Um, there's no hope for that. So, you know, you may have been holding on to some something in the past that was causing you great suffering. Like I said, whether this is anger, resentment, or bitterness, you know it's time just to let it go and move on. Yeah. You know, they're saying whoever made you feel like you weren't good enough, whoever put you in that energy and made you feel like you weren't worthy of being loved, they are under judgment right now. This is karma. Yeah, you have healing. You're, you have wish fulfillment and you are the star. You're meant to shine bright. You have beautiful energy. And God wants you to be in that vibration and to know how valuable you truly are. It doesn't matter that someone in the past couldn't see your value. No, God is bringing in peace in your life and you are leveling up into this emperor boss energy, taking your power back, loving yourself, knowing your value and worth. Yeah, that's the truth. This is sort of truth, clarity, and victory. You will be victorious over anyone that tried to make you feel bad about yourself. Yeah. Mm. You know, there was no happiness gained for these people who tried to do these things to you. They, they were met with, I just heard despair. I heard despair. Well, you are headed towards your generational wealth, building a stable foundation uh, with someone that's your equal. Not only having financial abundance, but abundance of love and security. Because you stayed your true authentic self. You remained your, your true authentic self, yeah. And now you're coming into a union, or you will be if you haven't met this person yet, with a past life soul connection. Who was sent to you by God. Look at this. You're leveling up. You are this queen of pentacles, grounded, stable, and financially secure. And this is the marriage card. You will be coming into union. And you deserve it. And for many of you, it's coming in quick. And those that caused you suffering, they will go through abandonment and rejection by anyone that they have as a partner because this is karma for what they did. Yeah, look at this. What did I just say, karma? This is the scales of justice. This is the wheel of fate, which is also the karma card, turning in your favor because God sees everything and God saw everything. And now it's your, your turn to shine. It's your turn. Hmm. Yeah, you're moving away from this passion-driven, could be an Aries Leo or Sag, but this is an energy that likes to create illusions to cover their tracks. And you you already know the truth about this person and you have your back to them. You're planning for your future, leaving it in the past. Um, you know, they desire to rush in, but you've already healed and seen the truth. So there's, 
There's nothing left there. You're just focused on your own wishes coming true, your wish fulfillment, and your divine partner coming in, a king and queen of pentacles. That's what you're focused on. Yeah, you're in this independent energy, proud, confident. You finally know your worth. You finally love yourself. You know how valuable you are. And it's really frustrating for these people that try to take that from you because it didn't work. It didn't work. In fact, you're stronger than you ever were. You're more confident. You are abundant. You're beautiful. You are handsome. They didn't take anything. They just made you fight even more to be in that energy. Wow. Look at this. You became strong and empowered. You became highly intuitive, being connected to the divine, listening to divine guidance. Your love and your kindness and your empathy um, never changed. You never wavered from that because that's who you truly are. And now you're being gifted with abundance because of this. This is your true character and you didn't deviate from that. You remained your true authentic self, like I said. Mm, that's beautiful, guys. All right, let's pull from another deck really quick. You will have many um, opportunities, options, whether this is love, career, and finance, but I do see, again, this King of Pentacles. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone that's just very grounded and stable coming in. For right now, though, you're focused on learning new things, creative endeavors, and you're planting the seeds. You're manifesting. Yeah, you know, toxic pe people from the past will try to come in and communicate the divine is saying, set your boundaries, defend yourself against these toxic energies. There's no room in your abundant life for low vibrational people. They've already shown through actions who they truly are. You don't need to be shown it more than once. Yeah, cold and detached energy, God said, protect yourself. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius from your past or just someone that's cold and detached, unable to express emotion. God says, protect yourself from these people. Yeah, they just wanna get you trapped in your mind. They do, they wanna play mind games with you, manipulate you, make you feel less than worthy again. Yeah, they wanna project their burden on you. It's just another game that they think they can get away with. That's the Five of Swords, trying to get away with something. Conflict, causing conflict, ugh. And every time they try to do this deceptive stuff, God's gonna hit them with, with justice, karma. So if you're a cross watcher and this is your intent, I'm here to tell you, you're gonna be hit with karma every single time you play these games, every single time. So you have free will, it's your choice, it's your choice. All right guys, I love you, have an amazing day, bye-bye.